What's up you guys, it's Joy, your big bro, welcome back to the channel, much love and light to everybody out there, and I hope everybody's having a blessed and wonderful day, alright you guys, we're going to be doing uh, who's obsessed with you and why reading, okay, uh, and this reading we're going to be finding out who's thinking about you, who can't stop thinking about you, and why, 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 I'm going to see what their actions are going to be moving forward, and get you some advice as well, okay, uh, we're going to have three groups, first group is going to be the white candle, second group, purple candle, third group green candle okay you guys can pause the video see which one of those resonates with you the most and then go from there we'll go ahead and get started with the white candle okay all right you guys we're gonna be seeing who's obsessed with you and why all right let's go ahead and clear the energy out here before we get started and move this out of the way. all right I might be using this tarot trainer deck that's currently on sale at the website, right? Check it out if you like. I'm gonna be using the, um, what is this, private eye deck. So let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Who's obsessed with my group number one, please? Who is obsessed with my group number one? Let me flip these over. Who's obsessed with my group number one, please? Who's obsessed with my group number one? Keep in mind, you guys, it's a general reading. It's not going to resonate with every single person. Watch them all. See if, what resonates with you if you need to, okay? You're more than welcome to watch all of them. It's your world. All right, let's see what we got. For some of y'all, it's going to be a coworker, okay? Somebody you work with, somebody you worked with, somebody you work with now, okay? Or this could also be somebody who's who you work with online as well. Like, let's say if you're on YouTube, if you do work on YouTube, Instagram, whatever, it could be somebody from there as well, okay? Someone that will, where you get money at. Friend of me. This is somebody who pretends, for some people, somebody who pretends to be a friend, but they're really an enemy, Okay? Current job, you may currently work with them, okay, or know them through their current job. Unprotected sex, okay. <laughs> this might be somebody who's out here having unprotected sex, okay. However, that applies to the situation. Maybe a teacher, you know, this person could work as a teacher. For some of y'all, this person could be somebody here sent to teach you a lesson, okay. Maybe to teach you to strap it down if you've been having unprotected sex with this person. I don't know, shit. Take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Okay? We have... This person was dishonest with you, okay? They weren't telling the truth. They may have saw you as a victim or they may be playing the victim role, okay? You guys may have a child together or this person may be... Or this may be somebody who has a child. Or this person might be somebody who uh, acts immature, okay? Give me some more information on this person, please. Who is obsessed with group number one? This might be somebody who got had you had you in a third party or a multiple party situation. This might be somebody who sleeps around, right? They may be um, partnering with different people. Somebody who's stubborn, okay? They like to have things their way. This is somebody who's outright mean towards you, okay? With this person, you wouldn't have to guess whether or not they liked you or not, or whether or not you guys are on good terms. This is somebody who's going to talk shit to you directly to your face, or give you the stank look, or the sour, sour pickle look, right to your face, and not going to think nothing about it, okay? So I don't think this, for some of you guys, this is not somebody who's hidden. You're going to know who this is. Abuser. This might be somebody who might have... Um, Hey, you may have put hands on you guys, or they may be known for putting hands on people. They may also be somebody who abuses drugs, you know? Enemy, this is not your friend. Definitely not your friend. We got friend of me, okay? This person may have come off like they were your friend at first, or they had your best interest at heart at first, but they didn't. They didn't. This was somebody who was against you, okay? They wanted to do things their way. Past job is really coming up very, very, very strong. So for some of you guys, this could be somebody who you dated that you worked with, okay? Or it could be just somebody who you dated who you exchanged funds with. I'm not saying like, oh, that didn't sound right. But I'm not saying like that, but like, you know, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> I ain't going to touch that because it sounded kind of weird. 
But yeah, let's see why. Show me why. Show me why. Where my other cards at? I don't know where they. Are. Oh, there they go. Why is this person? Why are they uh, obsessed? Why are they obsessed? Because because you found out the truth about them. That's why you found out the truth about their ass. They might have been out here sleeping with other people, more than one person. This is multi-party. This is not a third party. This is a freaking penta penta pentagon or something like that. You know. Because you found out the truth about them and you probably stood up for yourself, you know? And this person doesn't like that. They were lying to you. You found out their lies. You were connected to them or they had you tricked. They had you tricked and fooled. But their asses were, uh, the light was shown on them, you know? You have hope for the future. You know, they don't like the fact that you are not stuck, stuck on them. And you know that you can uh, receive other, you can, you can date other people, you can talk to other people, you can have other friends, you can have other things going on for yourself, right? You have hope for the future still. You're not stuck with them. You don't look at them as a great hope. I was going to say great white hope. What the fuck is that? You're not looking at, them, <laughs> looking at them as a great hope, you know? You're looking like, you know what, you know what, this isn't working for me. I'm moving on. I don't, I'm not giving up on life. You guys may have started a relationship with somebody else, okay? You might have cut them off then that way and started something new somewhere else. And they don't like that. You, They don't like the fact that you moved on. You may have just moved on by the sheer fact that now you care for yourself, okay? You care for yourself. And you love yourself. And you're standing up to this person. They don't like that. Yeah, you out here just partying. You, you living your best life. You ain't going back and forth with these bitches. You living your best life. You're doing you. you you're doing your thing, you know? And they don't like that. I feel like you guys will give me the vibe that, like, you're unfazed, right? I guess you guys went through whatever period if you needed to go through it, mourning or whatever, disappointment, whatever. You 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 went through it, and you're just like, okay, bye. I'm about to live my life. I'm about to have fun, you know? You're you're out doing your thing, you know? <laughs> you ain't having no... You're not thinking about this person even. You're doing your thing, you know? Yeah, you spoke your mind. You stood up for yourself. This throat chakra energy. You stood up for yourself. You told his mofo exactly where to, to, to stick whatever, you know? Nowhere near you. By you. You know? You stood up for yourself. You told him exactly how it is, and they don't like that, you know? It's like then maybe they're used to somebody who's weak-minded, you know? Who's weak-minded. Yeah, and you got the hell on, you know? You got, you got the hell on, and you, and you got rid of this disruption, Okay. You saw that this was a disruptive pattern for yourself, a disruptive situation for yourself to be in, and you got the hell on. You moved on, okay? You went after your goals, after your dreams. You know, you didn't stay stuck in this situation. Maybe they're used to people, you know, if them, they have, this might be somebody who has sex with somebody and they use that as a weapon. Like, I'm gonna get you hooked, and then you're not gonna, you're gonna pardon me for all the bullshit that I'm putting you through, you know? But I see that you guys, you wised up and you moved on. You got the hell on, you know? You found you another connection, you know? Some of you guys, you found you're looking for another connection. You're open to another connection. You're out partying with your friends, having a good time. You know, you're loving yourself, you know? And the person don't like that. They mad. They big mad, you know? That's their business. Let's see what they're, what they're uh, let's see how they, you know what? Let me see what they're thinking right now. I'm going to use the I love messages here. Let's see what what this person is thinking, what they on right now. I need to use the love messages too. Listen, I don't want to argue or talk about anything. I just want to start over with you. So this person want to come back. They want to come back, but they don't want to answer up or be held accountable for none of the shit that they did. That's interesting. They want to come back, but they don't want you to bring up the fact that they try to play you dirty and you and you know what kind of rat snake this mofo is. I thought you would reject me. I didn't want to end up humiliated. Not me. Whatever. Let me um pull one from this uh, love messages deck. Let's see what we got here. What else is this person? How are they feeling? What do they want to say? Oops. Ooh. I'm cool with a secret affair if you're already with someone. So this person thinks that you're with somebody else and they're like, um, I don't care if you're with somebody else. I still want to be with you. 
uh, we can we can uh, get together on the low. You know, we could be secret lovers. Wow. No wonder you let this mofo go. Because this mofo is still on that. They're still on this. They're still on that multi-party multi kick. You know, they're still on that, okay? Please let your guard down. Don't shut me out, okay? Let me. You know what? Let me get you some advice moving forward. Where's your advice? Where's your advice? Your advice. Let's get you some advice here. The sun will shine for you again, don't worry. Let's get another advice for you. And let me get you a, a notebook oracle too. Notebook oracle advice after this one. Okay. If you're not their mother or father, don't baby them. Adults shouldn't be babysitters. Y'all are dealing with somebody who is immature. They they should have they should have got they got should have got raised by their parents not you you shouldn't be you shouldn't have to tell them how to treat people how to be a decent person you know that's the whole vibes that I'm getting this person needs to be taught how to be a, how to be a decent individual how to treat people right you know how to have real connections with people that that are respectful. Misled. It says, don't believe everything you hear. Someone may be purposely feeding you false information to mislead you. Find out for yourself. Use your intuition. Yeah, you got a big, a whole big old stop sign with this person. Okay. It's telling me this person might try to come back and feed you a bunch of bullshit. Okay. It's up to you what you do with that. I did something irresponsible. I'm sorry. Can you forgive me? They're going to come back and ask you for your forgiveness. Okay. They're coming back to ask for your forgiveness. It's going to be up to you what you do with that. Okay. But that's what I got for you guys for group number one. If you like it, like the video, subscribe to the channel for more readings. And if this resonated, let me know down in the comment section, okay? Take care. Ciao. All right, you guys, if you selected the second group, uh, the purple candle, this is going to be a reading. Keep in mind, this, this is a general reading. It's not going to resonate with every single person that watches this. We will be finding out who is obsessed with you and why. Who is obsessed with you and why? Who is obsessed with you and why? Okay, who's obsessed with you and why? Who is obsessed with you and why? Who is obsessed with you and why? See what we got. We have someone who is dishonest towards you. They're not um they're not being honest. I feel like they're wearing a mask around you, okay? They're not the real deal. This is a false divine masculine, like false divine feminine. This is a false soulmate, right? They come off, they may have all the um the workings or the energy around them, like they're a soulmate, a high level soulmate for you, but they're not. Okay, they're 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 a fraud, a whole fraud out here in these streets. Okay, separated, someone that you're separated from. All right, or this person might be separated from whoever, but separated, y'all separated. Okay, travel. This might be someone who lives at a distance from you. There might be somebody who travels to who travel to be with you. They may be at a distance from you as well. Okay. May have Aquarius in their chart somewhere. May not. Doesn't necessarily have to be. You can have in yours as well. Multi-party. This is some may have been somebody who got you caught up in some shit that was like more than one person. They were dealing with more than one person. They were dealing with you and hell, two or three other people. Okay. Because the trio is going to be the third party. Multi-party is more than three people. Okay. This is somebody who's reckless, okay? They're out here being reckless in these streets, okay? They're endangering yourself. They're endangering themselves, 
You know what I'm saying? They just put you in a dangerous situation, okay? This is somebody who wasted your damn time, okay? They are a whole time waster. This may be have been a new person that you met, a new friend for some of you guys. Plotting schemes. This person was a whole, perp they were perpetrating a fraud. They were plotting on you, okay? This person had an agenda. They came into the mix with, with an agenda. They didn't come with a pure heart. They weren't honest with you, you know? They came perpetrating a, a divine masculine, a divine feminine when they were nothing of the such, okay? They were fake. This person may have cancer in their chart as well. You may have it in yours. For some of you guys, this person may be gay or bisexual or of the LGBTQ community, okay? They may be on the DL. They may be of the same age group as you as well, okay? Doesn't necessarily have to be. This is a friend of me. This is someone who pretends to be a friend or who pretended to be a friend or who pretends still, but they're your enemy. They don't have your best interests at heart. This could be someone that you currently work with, okay, or that you worked with before, all right? Someone who's stubborn, they're stuck in their ways, they don't want to change. This person is like fixated. They, For some of y'all, this person is stuck in high school. They're stuck in the third grade, stuck in the fifth grade. Their mind is not really developed like that, you know, when it comes to the being a, a law-abiding citizen or somebody who respects people, being somebody with some integrity, some decency, okay? Courteous. This person comes off as courteous, but they're everything. They're not. They're they're not really like that. Okay, they're fake. They kept you stuck, stagnated. They. This person wasted your time. This person, instead of you moving on and finding somebody else that you could, you know, be a friend with or be a lover with or whatever, and and a relationship with, they played. They they wasted your time. Okay, they kept you stuck in this shit for too long and just wasted your time. Okay, intentional. This person. I give up. I'm done with this reading, y'all. <laughs> I'm done with this shit. I'm done with this shit today. This person intentionally did that to you, okay? They were intention they intentionally did that to you. Intentionally. Let's see why. Let's see why they are obsessed. Why is this idiot obsessed, please? Tell me why is this idiot obsessed with my group number two, please? Why are they obsessed? That was a spiritual union just trying to come out. Yeah, they thought they, they believed that you guys had a spiritual union, but they're a fake or a fraud. They wanted to have that with you guys. Okay. It came out. Oh my God, I saw it. This card tried to pop out. This person is obs this person is obsessed with you because they think that they're your soulmate, okay? But they're not. They were sent from the, the pits of hell. <laughs> this is not. This person is a whole imposter. They're a fraud, okay? They're a false DM. We already called it out. They think y'all have a, a, a spiritual connection together. But y'all don't have shit together. But this learning lesson, okay? This is a karmic lesson here. Okay, this person feels a spiritual, they feel a spiritual connection with you. All right, this may be a soul tie that you guys have. If you slept with this person or you connected with them emotionally, there's a soul tie there. Okay, and this person cannot stop thinking about you. Hmm, this person is uh discontent and bored with the way that things are going. You know, they want some excitement back in their lives, they want you back in their lives. Mm hmm, they show do. They want your ass. This person wants a new beginning with you. They want to come back. Okay. They want to restart. They want another chance to do whatever they did to you again. Okay. Because we see, yo, you want to know why? You want to know why, how we know that? Where you at? Because they intend, whatever they did to you, whatever they did to you, they did it intentionally. They knew what the hell they was doing. Okay. This person is rec reckless. They don't give a fuck. That's what that means. They're reckless. They don't care. They just want what they want when they want it. And whoever gets burned or damaged in the process, you just get burned and you just get damaged. That's why, you know, you got to, you know, uh, take control of the situation yourself and protect yourself. This person wants to come back for more. I don't know what they did to you, whoever this person is, but they want to come back for more. Okay. 
oh yeah, we see they got you caught up in some sort of uh, they were dating other people. I had other people involved. Okay. This person is confused, right? This person is very, very confused in the head. Uh, this is making me. This is this is giving me the whole vibe. This person might deal with mental issues. No offense to anybody who's dealing with you know mental issues where you take medication for. This person might take medication for that, or they may see y'all. Y'all heard that little 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 that little notification that says that person needs that person takes medication for it, and some of y'all people are not taking the medication like they should be taking. You know, they got a whole prescription that they ain't taking. OK, they're walking around here terrorizing people because they're not on their meds. It happens. I've seen it happen dozens of times. This person is not mentally sound. They're not mentally sane. This person, this person feels a strong connection to you, okay? This person is stuck to you. Give me one second. Let me answer this message right quick, y'all. Sorry. All right, sorry. But yeah, this person feels an emotional loss. They miss you, okay? They feel sad without you. They feel sad that you're not in their lives. It's like, but you want to come back into this person's life. You want to come back into our lives. You want to come back into group number two's lives and bring the chaos and the drama and the fuck shit. You want to bring, you want to bring all that. You want to bring reckless behavior. You want to, you want to bring a stubborn attitude. <sighs> This person, they, they feel a sexual connect, strong sexual connection with you. They want to have sex. They want to sleep with you, right? That's what they want. They miss that. If you if you slept with them, they miss that, okay? If you didn't sleep with them, they're thinking about doing that. They want to double back, and they want to get that. They want to hit that or do whatever, you know? Yeah. That's what they want with you. Let's get, um, you know what? Let me stop pulling these cards. Let me stop pulling these cards. I feel that you guys separated yourself from this person. Okay, we got separated here. You guys are spending time alone. Y'all not dealing with this person. You're not, you're, not, you're not dealing with this shit, okay? You guys are following your own destiny. You guys are on a completely different path for yourself. You guys, you guys found out that, hey, this is not the person for me. I'm moving forward. I'm moving on. You see, you got accelerated motions. You guys moved on. You're moving on to what is truly your destiny and what truly serves your highest good, okay? Somebody who's healthy, people who are healthy in your life, okay? Let's get some messages from them with the I love um, deck and then also with the love messages deck. Let's see what they want to say. Let's see what this weirdo wants to say, okay? They want to say, I feel so bad for disappointing you. Damn, why did I do that? I'm so sorry. Of course, you should feel that way. We know that you feel sorry. Look, we know that you feel sorry discontent and boredom with the way that shit is right now emotional loss they're sad that they lost you that you're that you dipped the hell out they're, they're sad that you dipped the hell out right you left me alone and i did what i had to do if i had if you had paid y'all i'm telling you they were this fuck shit you left me alone and i did what i had to do if you had paid me some attention I wouldn't have stepped out. Wow. So they so they're blaming you. They're blaming you on whatever took place between you guys. If they played you dirty, they're blaming you because they're saying that you didn't give them attention like a little ass child. This person is dealing with a lot of mental issues. Well, and part of it is childhood wounds. This person may have experienced a traumatic childhood um, experience, okay, that they're not over, that they didn't get help for, or they need to go get help for, okay? What we have is destined. I just know it for real. I've told you this person feels that you are their soulmate. They feel that you're the one. I feel that you guys are like, oh, hell no. Nah. I'm, I'm going somewhere else. I'm done with this. Uh, my destiny is somewhere else. Is it too late for us? I'm worried about this. I don't know what to do. Hmm. I like when you show me who's the boss. Stop being so passive and show some authority. Let's go. 
Also, now they want to they want to come back and play games. They want you to be a dominatrix or be a drill sergeant. This is a whole weirdo out here, yo. A whole weirdo. This person does not know how to love. They don't know how to love, okay? Point blank, period. You can call it how you want to call it, but these are not the signs of somebody who knows how to love. They don't know how to love. They don't know what the hell that is, okay? Because they weren't taught that. I'm losing hope in this ever working. At this point, why even bother? Good. What else we got? What else this person wants to say? And I'm gonna get you some advice. Please be honest with me. I want you to show me the real you. How the hell you going? How the hell they want you to show them the real you when all they are is a fucking false divine masculine, false divine feminine, and they're dishonest. And they keep people on the side. And they do that shit intentionally. Wow. Please tell me you love me too. Y'all, y'all gonna tell them that, that you love them? Let's give you guys a divine feminine message. One just jump right out. And that is, if you have to pull teeth with people, stop talking to them. Don't force anything. This might have been somebody who shut themselves off emotionally from you. Kept things hidden from you. You couldn't even have a conversation. Had you walking on eggshells. Kept you at a distance had walls up towards you and you felt like you couldn't get anywhere with this person this might have just been a connection and not a full-on sexual connection for some of y'all it might have uh graduated on into to sex with this person okay stop letting people take and take from you without ever giving anything it's about balance that's what this person was doing this person wasn't giving you nothing they didn't give you nothing let's um let's let's do a Notebook Oracle message here to wrap this up. Okay. Ooh, desperation. Don't come off desperate to anyone. Regardless of how passionate you feel, temper yourself and do things in moderation. Calm down until you get your emotions in check. I feel that that's where a lot of a lot of us may have gone wrong in this situation, right? You may have you may have done too much, a little too much for this person, right? You may have given them too much uh when you know what i'm saying like instead of giving them a what is it what's that whole saying like give you an inch and you ask for a take a mile or whatever you might have just given them too much done too much for them you've done see it says stop letting people take and take from you 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 let this person take so much from you that they felt like they could do whatever they want to do to you and that you will always be there for them that's what the issue was in this connection all right so divine is telling you not to do that shit no more okay when that person comes back Y'all might need to cut their ass. You might, might need to, to, to send them to the door, okay? It's up to you what you do with this person. You know what it is now, so it's up to you. you you're not out in the cold, and you're not, like, confused. You, you know what's going on, okay? But that's what I got for you guys in this group. If you like it, like the video. Subscribe to the channel for more. And uh, comment down in the comment section if this did resonate with you, okay? Take care. Ciao. All right, you guys, if you selected the green candle, number three, this is going to be your reading. We're going to be seeing who is obsessed with you and why. Who is obsessed with you and why? Who is obsessed with you and why? Who is obsessed with you and why? Anything flip over? Nope. Let's get a couple more. Who's obsessed with you and why? Who's obsessed with my power number three and why? Damn. Okay. Let's go with them all. 
It's a hell of a lot. <laughs> That's more than I asked for, but we'll go with it. We'll go with it. All right, so this person may be a Virgo. They may have Virgo on their chart. You might have it in yours. It doesn't necessarily have to be a joker, somebody who plays around. They play around too much, okay? They be laughing all the time. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but maybe they take you as a joke, okay? Or they took your connection as a joke. So maybe somebody from your past, okay? Friendly vibes. They have. They were friendly towards you, okay? Or that's how they came off towards you, okay? This person is vibing on the low levels. This is low frequency uh, connection or en energetic output that this person is, is, is giving off. Reckless behavior. This person is reckless. They be out here doing shit that, could, that is um, detrimental to their own health and well-being and also to other people around them, okay? They don't care. This may be somebody that you're separated from, all right? There's somebody who might be gay or bisexual, LGBT, whatever it is, you know, go with the flow. Doesn't necessarily have to be. This is a friend of me, somebody who comes off as a friend, but they're your goddamn enemy, okay? Same age group, all around your age, doesn't, doesn't have to be. Heartbroken, this person is heartbroken. You might, this person feels like you broke their heart, okay? Y'all might have dumped their ass and left them to the curb. Kicked them to the curb, and now they're 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 sad. Okay, this is a whistleblower. This is somebody who tells all your secrets. Okay, this is somebody who, if you sleep with them, you have an affair with them, or whatever, they're telling everybody. they everybody knows your, your business. Okay, this is a whistleblower. They're telling everybody. Every everybody knows the tea, the gossip, the juice. Everybody knows everything. Current job. It could be someone that you're currently working with, or that you worked with recently. For some of you guys. Pisces, this person may be a Pisces or may have Pisces in their chart somewhere. You might have it in yours. It doesn't have to be. This may be somebody that you work with in a store or somewhere where you deal with multiple customers or some, something like that, okay? Or multiple people. This could even be online as well, okay? Ooh. Yeah, it might be online for some of you guys. This might be somebody that you met online, okay? Y'all saw I hit that, uh, hit that shell. Maybe somebody you're dealing with online. Let's see why. Why you mad? Why you mad? Why you mad? Why did I say this person was mad? This person might be mad at you. I don't know where that came from. I was the, the question I meant to ask was why are they obsessed? Okay, so this person is mad. They are mad at you. You broke their heart. That's why they mad. They feel you broke their heart, right? You you chose to you chose this situation was unbalanced, right? This situation was something within the situation that was not healthy. And you chose to make it healthy, okay? You chose to, to balance this shit out. You chose to do the right thing for yourself that was healthy. So if there was something within this dynamic that was, um, what is that word? That was unhealthy or that was, I don't know, that was damaging to you, your self-esteem or anything like that, your body your well-being, whatever it was, you got rid of it, okay? Yeah, y'all got the hell on. Accelerated motion. You got the hell up out of there. And they don't like that. And that's why they felt heartbroken. You you cut the connection off and you moved on to bigger and better things, to something that's healthy. You might have even spent time alone with yourself, you know, and, and to, to find balance within yourself from this connection, you know? You chose yourself over this per person. You chose, chose your happiness over this person, okay? And their foolishness, all right? They're mad because you weren't patient with them. They feel that you weren't patient with them. You didn't you didn't stick out with stick it out with them and uh help them heal or help them. I feel I'm getting the whole image, I'm getting a fucking immature vibe from this person. Like very, very immature. Like that you were you were you guys may have been the same age. There may have even even been an age difference, but somebody is more mature than the other person, and I feel the other person wanted you to wait for them, you know? While they get their shit together, while they go out and play around and take shit for a joke. Wow. While they learn how to love, while they learn how to treat people. Okay? This person was, you knew that this was not a secure situation with this person. Okay? And they're mad because you didn't stand around. You weren't their rock to depend on. Like, they'll go out and do what they want to do, but they want you to be loyal and faithful to them when they weren't to you. You know?
Why is this person mad, please? Why is this person mad? This person is mad because you didn't stay there and build nothing with them. You moved on. You're building something elsewhere, right? They wanted to be the person that got all your attention, that got all your love, that got your body, your love, and your affection. You know? They, they wanted you to be that person for them, right? They wanted you to keep giving to them, keep giving to them, keep providing to them. Keep. They wanted to keep. This, this is giving me a whole leech vibe. This person is a whole immature leech, and they wanted you to be there for them, okay? They saw that you you weren't giving them that love no more. You weren't open to them. You they, they wanted a new beginning in love with you, but you didn't give it to them, and they're pissed off about it, okay? They may have even, this may have even been someone that you were just talking to that you weren't in, in a sexual connection with, and that you saw how ignorant and immature they were, and so you bounced. You was like, no, we're not doing this, you know? Not with me, you won't, right? This person wanted you to wait for them. Again, they wanted you to they wanted you to they want to play that waiting game with you, but you didn't wait. Like I said before, like I said, you got the hell on. They wanted you to wait for them, but you got the hell on. You were like, "No. Time wait, waits for no man or woman. I'm not wasting my time over here with you with this foolishness. You take everything for a joke. You take yourself for a joke. How am I supposed to take you uh seriously, you know?" Yeah, you found the truth about, you saw the truth about this person, okay? You saw the truth, and you got the hell on. You saw everything you needed to know. You had that realization, that awakening moment. You, the light turned on, light flipped. You saw them, who they, who they were, without any mask, without any uh, rose-colored glasses. You saw it for what it was, and you bounced, and they got pissed off at that, okay? Let's see how this person feels about you, what they want to say. What does this jokester want to say, please? What do they want to say? Okay. So yeah, I feel some of y'all, this person is this person has a lot of growing to do, right? It's giving me child vibes, like they may have been too young for you anyways, young physically or young mentally. This person needs to go play games with somebody their own age or own uh, mental level. It says, don't rush me. I will reveal my feelings in my own time. Be patient. See, they want you to wait. My friends told me not to get involved with you, but I don't care what they say. I'm so in love with you. This person pissing me off right now. They pissing me off. I'm scared. <laughs> you punk bitch I'm scared I need you to take the lead to fix this Talk to me I'm open Y'all gonna talk to them Are you gonna take the lead to fix this Please take me back Give me one more chance I will do whatever you want I'm not even gonna say nothing Y'all handle that I'm not saying nothing I'm not dealing with that energy <laughs> I'm not dealing with that shit. I can't deal with the foolishness, yo. Foolishness. That's all I'm picking up from this one is foolishness. Like, yo, play your game somewhere else. Please don't be skeptic. I'm only acting differently because I want to create change. You playing games. I spend money on you to win your favor and get what I want. So this might be somebody who feels that, you know, they could spend money on you to get what they want or spend time and energy on you. Look what we got, you guys. Look what we got, you guys. I'm younger or less mature. What did I just say? What did I say? What did I say? I'm younger and or less mature than you are. I have a lot more to experience and learn. See what I said? I said they had a lot more to learn. They 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 don't know what they're doing, you know? They playing games. They need to go and go with somebody. Like you are on a different level than this person is, right? You're not in this person's league. I hate to say that, but it is what it is. It says Making money and having financial stability is very important for me. Maybe they, maybe they need to get their weight up. Maybe they need to mature. This person needs, they're not done yet. This person is a cake that's not done, you know? The middle is still, the middle is uncooked. This person's cake is not done. The pizza is not, the cheese is not melted on the pizza. You need to put it back in the oven. They're not ripe. 
this apple, this Fuji apple is still green, you know? If they're ever green, I don't know what color they are when they're on the tree. But yeah, it's not it's not ripe for the picking, you know? This mango is still green. It's not it's not the mango the color the mango is supposed to be. They gotta cook some more, you know? They gotta cook <laughs> They gotta cook some more. It's like you I fantasize about you a lot. I can't get you out of my mind. They interesting. They're very, very interesting indeed. I wouldn't mind having a threesome with you. See what I'm telling? They, 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 they. What the fuck? They would see, see what I'm talking about. See, you see what I'm talking about? I need you to know that I'm the boss. What I say goes. You see what I'm? I don't care who gets hurt in the process. I'm going to be with you. Y'all, y'all on y'all own with that one. Let me get some advice for you guys. You on your own with that one, fam. Like, y'all on y'all own with that one. That one. I refuse. I refuse, 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 refuse. Let's get them some advice so we can wrap this up because his energy is giving me a headache right now. <laughs> if a person is emotionally unavailable, they don't care. So don't ever expect them to. Damn. No one can take what is truly yours. And let's get you some advice from... The Notebook Oracle. Let's see what Notebook Oracle wants to say to you guys. Ooh. How many? Uh, two of these fell. Okay. It says, waiting too long. Don't expect the world to wait just because you've taken a pause. It, it is okay to take a breather and think about decisions that need to be made. But waiting too long might mean that opportunities are passing you by. Yeah. If you guys are st still stuck waiting on this person, y'all need to let this shit go and move on. But this is just my advice. You know, you do what you want to do. You are the, the the star of your own show. You're the one that makes this final decision whether or not you wait for somebody, you give them another chance, or you stay stuck in some bullshit. That's up to you. Relax and be. Make sure you're taking time to yourself to just relax and be. Allow yourself to just chill out and take some time off. Even if it's just for 15 minutes, you don't have to always be on the go doing things. Chill out a bit, okay? That's what I got for you guys in this group. If you like it, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. If this resonated with you guys, comment down in the comment section. Let me know how you feel about it. Much love and light to you guys. Take care. Ciao.